Not only is John Juanda an old school legend, but he has stood the test of time. The dude manages to stay relevant and even win things in the present day. He's more than... I had trips. Sick. Which leads us to today's video. Five times John Juanda had more than trips. John Juanda on the button with King Queen. He raises to 14,000. Ace Queen for Jonathan Duhamel in the small blind. I think most of the time this is a three bet from the small blind against a button raise, especially because you're happy to three bet get it in against a shorty. He does re raise to 38,000. Jason Mercier folds the big blind. Action back on Juanda. Don't really see Juanda folding this in position because he's got near the top of his range on the button. But also, he probably doesn't want to bloat this pot any further. Juanda throws in an additional 24,000, and we are going heads up to the flop. Duhamel out of position, but with the betting lead. And dominating. The flop is ace, jack, 10. Juanda flops the nuts. Bring out your dead. Top pair for Duhamel. And he continues for 37,000. Some folks may have checked there. Betting to get it in on this flop seems like a great idea until you get shoved on. See if Juanda does shove. Don't see what else he could do with that stack. He's all in. Psy call. Duhamel calls. And with those stack sizes, this is pretty much just a cooler. Good flop. Duhamel needs to go runner runner, or he can chop it with a king. Just the chop outs now. Jonathan drawing debtor for an outright win and the big game ever coming back. Eight on the river sees Juanda double up. Shemian picks up another big hand. Pocket ace is under the gun plus one. He raises to 48,000. Kind of a big hand. And this is also a big hand. Kings for Juanda. I haven't seen a cold deck this bad since EPT Siberia. Juanda three bets. Makes it 145,000 total. This is going to be a shame. Action back on Shemian. 287. There is the four bet. Yeah. This is like watching two trains on the same track going toward each other, of course. Would be interesting if one was following the other. It's just weird. And Juwanda, five bets to 590,000. All in. There's the all in. Call. And there's the call. Not cool, Zeus. Wow. Still a very tense moment for Shemi, and if his ace is hold, he's gonna have a bishnefly billion chips. Jawanda on the verge of elimination. So far, so good for Shemian. Jawanda's gonna need a return of the king. He's drawing to two outs. We've lost two players from the outer tables. John Juanda about to become our 18th place finisher here in Barcelona. But there's a king on the turn! That movie is still having too many endings. Shemian gets coolered. Some people would say you have to look at this like losing a flip. Since you both play aces and kings the same way, he could have easily been on the other side of this. But John Juanda does drink your milkshake. No ace on the river. Ola Shemian doubles up John Juanda. He knows he's not out, right? You'd want to get away from the table if that happened to you. True story. And John Juanda getting it quietly. What a pro. I think Ola Shemian might actually be going to get sick. Uh, that was a sick hand. That was a cooler. Lex Valdhaus will be under the gun here. And he's pretty short stack, which is 24,500. Ace nine, he's all in. Oh, Lexi, this is a hand that when it gets looked up, you're almost always dead, like now. Simeleonis will three bet to 60,500 with pocket queens. Is Juan interested? No. Robin Ulitalo Max. Ace. Five. Anticlimatic. Juanda in the big blind. Ace King. Oh boy. Yeah, about two, uh, 215 behind, right? Put him in stacks of 20, pal. Wow. 
wow. This is so sick. You would like to have my hand here, I think. <laughs> All right, I think you play your queens better. Sorry? You play your pocket queens better. You have pocket queens, right? Wow! Well done, Johnny Hotel Jawanda. Even if he didn't have the soul read, I like the move of not wanting to get involved with someone who can actually put a dent in your stack. A lot of money at stake, but more importantly for these players who, whose bank accounts all run into seven figures, uh, they want to lift the title. John Jawanda, King Nine suited. Bear in mind it's five players. The hands increase in value the less Johnson players there are. I, I still don't buy that stuff. It, it's still about the money. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't care how much you have. 500,000 pounds is, is going to make a difference. Button falls. And does Scotty win? And Scotty, you know, still on that, working that major short stack. Let's see. Shot for ages. He's 10. John, this is 45 right there, right, baby? That's 10. 15. 20. Gavin, would you say it's too much to hope for that? Scotty Wynn could play a hand in silence. <laughs> yeah, that's never going to happen. Okay. I mean. <laughs> so if I call you, if I, I call you, you all you have to do is call 39,000 more. The blinds are 8 and 16,000. Scotty's got 80,000. If I you mean. fall, I'd be sick. <laughs> well, he's going to go in the good possession area, and I think John Juanda will call him. Given his big stack, he's going to call him here. Like, even if even John, if I mean, Jawanda only had forty thousand, he'd call thirty nine. Yeah, it's a no brainer. Yeah, That's Scotty Wynn has went into many flops here. Short stack, Gavin with a 50-50 chance, roughly fifty two forty eight, fifty eight forty two. This is another one. Maybe his luck will run out. You you think it has to happen sometime, but you know. How much is it? Eighty four. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. We're in London, baby. We're not in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, baby. So if I were to call, you could re-raise If you were to call and win, you won't have to listen to him anymore. How about that for a scenario? All right, Scotty Wynn is your fifth place finisher. <laughs> John says on, Scotty Wynn is your fifth place finisher. The, uh, you know, Scotty's Jason was in a weird suits. spot there because the A7 or A4. he can get re-raised uh, if he calls there because of the size of the re-raise. Ah, <laughs> I know. Why does it matter? I'm going to hit two kings and Scotty is the player, Okay, is Scotty win then. The is in the best situation. He's win his, <laughs> in his underdog I, a few times with his short stack. So let's see what happens this time. All right, let's see the flop, please. Sorry, Scotty. Jack of clubs, seven of hearts, six <laughs> Oh, I think he could be right. Wow. No, that's the flush draw. Scotty, I am very sorry. <laughs> he's called it. John Joanna goes in as the dog and boasts that he's going to hit the flop. If this is a heart, it is all over. There's no way back. There's no white cards for him. Oh, the ace comes down for Scotty. That's a good card. He could survive to live another day. He's four to one on to take this hand. Scotty Wynn looks like he could be getting a stack he could play with here, Gavin. Unless, of course, it's a, it's, it's a river to hate. It's a river to hate! Bye bye, baby! Bye bye, baby! Around to Juanda in the small blind. Queen seven. He completes. Jensen with Jack 10 checks his option. Once again, two very standard hands for this stage of the tournament. Well, it's top pair for Jensen, second pair for Joanda. John checks. You can't see bet when you don't raise pre flop, and besides, this is already a good hand to try to get the showdown. Frederick bets with the best hand, 600,000. And Joanda calls. The turn card. Is a queen, Juanda, now with two pair and a commanding favorite. That is a hell of a card for Juanda. He checks a second time. Jensen bets a second time, 1.6 million. Jensen wants Juanda to call with a seven, just not a seven and another pair. Juanda's not calling. He's raising. He check raises to 4.8 million. Jensen should really only be calling here if he thinks Jawanda's the type to run some kind of crazy bluff. I'm not sure he is in this spot. Jensen calls the race. 
Juan is certainly capable of semi-bluffing, but if you think that's the case, you should probably just check back. 12 million in the middle, and Juan the Rivers a full house. Oh. He shoves on Jensen. Great spot for John to shove. All the draws missed, so if he wants to make it look like he's got a busted draw, this is probably also exactly what he'd do. Jensen calls, and he's out! It was a hero call, and sometimes the hero dies at the end.